Ever wondered how the sun powers the entire universe? Let's dive into the captivating world of nuclear fusion. At the core of our a fiery sphere of glowing gases, a process occurs that illuminates our existence. The sun, burning with unfathomable brightness, owes its radiance to a process called nuclear fusion. This process fuels not just our sun, but every single star that dots the night sky. So what exactly is nuclear fusion? It's the majestic dance of two light atomic nuclei combining to form a heavier nucleus. As they merge, they erupt, releasing colossal amounts of energy. This energy is what brings the sun and stars to life. You ask, how does this contrast with nuclear fission, our current nuclear power source? Nuclear fission, unlike fusion, splits a heavy atomic nucleus into two lighter ones. This process, though energy generating, is not as potent as nuclear fusion, and it leaves behind long-lived radioactive waste, posing significant disposal and environmental challenges. But nuclear fusion, if successfully harnessed, can open a door to a nearly limitless energy source. It's efficient, safe, and remarkably clean. The fusion process uses water and lithium, resources that are abundant and easily accessible. And the best part? It doesn't leave behind long-lived radioactive waste, making it a significantly greener option. There is, however, a caveat. Achieving nuclear fusion is a Herculean task. It demands incredibly high temperatures and pressures, akin to those in the sun's core. But if we can conquer these Herculean challenges, the payoff could be beyond our wildest dreams. Imagine if we could replicate the sun's power here on Earth. Such a feat could radically alter our energy landscape, moving us toward a more sustainable future. But that's a conversation for another day. For now, let's stand in awe of the sun's power and the tremendous potential it carries. So, how do we go about capturing this powerhouse for our use? Harnessing nuclear fusion, the same process that powers our sun, is a formidable challenge that scientists and engineers have been grappling with for decades. The high temperatures and pressures required for fusion reactions to occur make it a tough nut to crack. But the potential rewards are tantalizing, a virtually limitless clean energy source. Currently, there are two main methods being explored to achieve nuclear fusion, magnetic confinement and inertial confinement. Let's break them down. Magnetic confinement is all about using magnetic fields to contain the hot plasma where fusion reactions take place. The most common type of magnetic confinement device is the tokamak, a donut-shaped machine. In a tokamak, magnetic fields keep the plasma away from the machine's walls, allowing it to reach the high temperatures necessary for fusion. The International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, or ITER, currently under construction in France, is the largest tokamak project to date. On the other hand, inertial confinement involves using lasers or particle beams to heat and compress a small pellet of fusion fuel. The idea is to create such extreme conditions that the fuel's atoms have no choice but to fuse together. The National Ignition Facility in the United States is one of the leading research centers in this field. Both methods have their challenges. Magnetic confinement requires incredibly strong and complex magnetic fields, while inertial confinement needs incredibly precise and powerful lasers. And in both cases, we need to find a way to get more energy out of the reaction than we put in, a hurdle we have yet to clear. But despite these challenges, progress is being made. Scientists and engineers around the world are chipping away at the problems fueled by the promise of a clean, virtually limitless energy source. The science is complex, but the potential rewards are enormous. What could we expect if we successfully harnessed nuclear fusion? Imagine a world where energy is not just abundant, but practically limitless. This is the promise of nuclear fusion, the same process that powers our sun and all the stars in the cosmos. Unlike fossil fuels, which are finite and rapidly depleting, the primary fuel for fusion hydrogen is abundant in seawater. Just a liter of seawater could produce as much energy as 300 liters of petrol. Imagine that. We're talking about an energy source that could last for millions, if not billions, of years. But the benefits of fusion don't stop at its abundance. Harnessing fusion energy also means a cleaner, greener future. Fossil fuels, when burned, release harmful greenhouse gases that contribute to global warming. Fusion, on the other hand, produces no such pollutants. Its only byproduct is helium, a harmless and non-toxic gas. Just think about it. 
an energy source that could power our world without contributing to climate change. Furthermore, fusion is inherently safe. Unlike nuclear fission, which is currently used in nuclear power plants and carries the risk of a meltdown, fusion reactions are self-limiting. If something goes wrong, the reaction simply stops. There's also no risk of a runaway reaction leading to a nuclear explosion and no long-lived radioactive waste to deal with. This makes fusion not just a powerful source of energy, but a safe one as well. The benefits of fusion are clear. It's abundant, it's clean, and it's safe. But these benefits are not just hypothetical, they are tangible within our grasp. Scientists and engineers around the world are working tirelessly to make fusion energy a reality. Fusion could revolutionize our energy landscape. And with it, we could step into a future that is brighter, cleaner, and powered by the very same process that lights up the stars. Now, isn't that a future worth striving for? But the path to fusion is not without its obstacles. As we venture forth into the realm of nuclear fusion, we must anticipate the hurdles that stand in our way. The main challenge, and perhaps the most daunting one, is the technical complexity of harnessing fusion energy. Unlike fission, which involves the splitting of atoms, fusion requires the collision of atomic nuclei at incredibly high temperatures and pressures. Imagine trying to recreate the conditions at the heart of the sun right here on Earth. It's a delicate dance of physics, demanding precise control over these extreme conditions. The technology to sustain these reactions for long periods is still in the development stage. Moreover, the containment systems required to control and harness the energy produced are yet to be perfected. In short, we still have a mountain to climb in terms of the technological advancements needed to make fusion a reality. Then there's the question of financial costs. The research, development, and construction of fusion reactors demand a significant investment. The International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, or ITER, a multinational fusion project has a price tag in the tens of billions, and that's just one project. With such high upfront costs, will fusion energy ever be economically viable? It's a valid question, but remember, every great leap forward in technology has come with a hefty price tag. The initial costs of developing renewable energy technologies like solar and wind were also high. But as we've seen, the costs have fallen dramatically as technology improved and economies of scale kicked in. So while the financial and technical challenges of fusion are indeed formidable, they are not insurmountable. We've overcome similar obstacles in the past, and with the collective will of the global scientific community, we can do it again. The journey is difficult, but the destination is worth it. If we can unlock the power of fusion, we will have access to a virtually limitless, clean, and safe source of energy. It's a goal worth striving for, a future worth fighting for. So let's press on, despite the challenges towards a brighter, fusion-powered future. So where does that leave us in the quest for fusion energy? Well, it's a journey that's currently underway, with a myriad of research and development efforts happening around the globe. Scientists and engineers are working tirelessly, pushing the boundaries of our understanding and making strides in the pursuit of fusion power. There's no shortage of exciting breakthroughs. For instance, teams are harnessing the power of superconducting magnets, creating conditions hotter than the sun, and even using lasers to compress fusion fuel. These advances are gradually edging us closer to the goal of a clean, limitless source of power. And let's not forget the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, or ITER, a multinational project that's building the world's largest tokamak, a device designed to confine plasma in the shape of a torus. This project represents an enormous step forward and is a testament to what we can achieve when we work together. But when will fusion energy become a reality? That's the million-dollar question. Some experts predict that we might see the first fusion power plants within the next 30 to 40 years. However, these are just predictions. The development of fusion power is a complex and challenging task that will require continued investment, collaboration, and innovation. The timeline might seem long, but remember, we're talking about unlocking one of the universe's most powerful secrets. We're aiming to replicate the process that powers the stars right here on Earth. That's no small feat. The path to fusion power is filled with challenges, but every step forward brings us closer to a future where clean, abundant energy is the norm. 
a future where energy poverty is a thing of the past and where our dependence on fossil fuels is but a distant memory. The future of fusion is still being written, but its potential is undeniably transformative. As we continue this quest, let's remember that the fusion journey is not just about the destination, but also about the scientific discoveries and technological innovations we make along the way.